Welcome back to the most electric podcast in the world, Couple Pints Pod, 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 Pod. Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to your favorite podcast, Couple Pints Pod, the oh. most electric podcast in the world. Like lightning. This week, we're brought to you by the 25th anniversary of yerba mate yeah specifically yeah, yeah. guaki guaki no i don't know i dm'd them they said to sign up to be ambassadors because i literally spend most of my money on this stuff so oh shit we're just gonna shout them out 25 years strong what all right later all right guys thanks for listening <laughs> where are you going there they are bam destined apparel you can find them on Instagram. Destined to sponsor. Destined. Some sick shorts, okay? I don't know. You've been jacked up on the shorts the last three weeks. They're so comfortable. No, not these shorts, just different pairs of shorts oh, over the yeah. last three weeks. I'm itching to get a new pair of chubbies. I oh, hey. I need a new pair chubbies. of chubbies. Hey, chubbies. Hey. I got a chub. I got your chubbies on right now. Yeah, I need I'm shorts rocking like them. that. Chubbies, destined apparel. If you go to Destined Apparel, I don't know if it's still going to work, but use the code Colin underscore D for 25% off. Maybe it still works. Maybe it doesn't. I don't really know. So odd. Destined Apparel. Colin's a micro-influencer now. Yes. <laughs> I'm the silly one. <laughs> um, yeah, not the most electric opening. Now that we got the ad reads out of the way. Oh my god. Uh we're kind of kind of we're kinda, we're kind of going to restructure this week as we do every couple weeks once I get bored and second guess everything we've ever done on this platform. Happens every now and then. It happens all the time. Every time I post actually. Um the OCD takes over. So Sorry. I oh god, he's going to throw up. Choked on a burp. I almost did. Um uh. I reluctantly deleted my Twitter a couple weeks ago, and so current events fucking suck now. Um, so I think we're just going to nix that for the time being. Um, Lost it out. So, yeah. Welcome back to your favorite podcast, the original Couple Pines Pod, where oh, we are going to shit. talk about crazy shit for as long as we want because it's our platform and not yours. Rip that off of... Ah, <laughs> by Trixie Mattel and Katia, another great podcast. Check it out, Drag Our Queens. Platform. Not yours, J Mac. Do you want to tell them what we're going to talk about today? This week, I almost said this year. This year, this is the only one. Uh, this Every week, year. we are going to talk about the real life Death Star, which apparently exists, the, according the to real Colin. Life Death Star laser. People are actually putting shit together. And making it work. They've been but doing it's it for also, a while, apparently. Like, this is like when there's this channel I watch called The Hacksmith. And it's really sick. Like, I'm not trying to shit on Hacksmith. Shouts out Hacksmith. But they make, like, r shit from, like, fantasy and stuff like that into real world things. So, like, they actually made Thor's hammer. And you know the rain guy? Yeah. The bodybuilder? Yeah. They, like, flew him in to try and pick him, pick it up. And he couldn't. It was one of those ones with a magnet in it that attached. No, to they put like the heaviest steel or not steel. I forget what it's called. There's some metal that's like so fucking dense and they melted it down and filled the inside of a plastic Thor's hammer with it. And like, so it looks light as fuck, but it weighs like, I think they said it weighs like 200 pounds or some shit. So like they made Thor's hammer. They made the, <sighs> the Assassin's Creed hidden blade. They made, um, the Mandalorian flamethrower, like they make fantasy shit real, and uh, they made a lightsaber. But this kind of reminds me of that. Like it's not like, like homeboy has a fucking tank of propane strapped to his back, and it's just a super concentrated flame. Oh yeah, and that can just yeah casually. So like stuff. that that's kind of what this is. Kind I of. mean, it's a crazy fucking thing that Insane actually concept. exists anyway. Yes. And also, it's not because before we hit record, I was like, is this that laser in space that like shoots missiles out of the sky? I think it's called like God's Hammer or some shit. Yeah, something but like that's that. like outlawed by hundreds of countries, which I'm sure this will be one day, too. So we don't really use it. But anyway, 
fucking let's talk about the Death Star laser in reality. So all of this is based off. Also convince me because like, okay, this is the thing you showed me. was just like scientific jargon. Yeah. That I had, I couldn't understand, but also like it could I just, couldn't even it could it. just be made up. Like I could be like, yeah, if you take Tesla's theory about fucking E equals BX times five divided all over fucking mass times acceleration, then you end up with a fucking space laser. Dude, you're smart. No, I'm not. How'd you put those words together to make it sound like you did it? Harvard's trying to that? recruit me, whatever, dude. How do you do that? Anyway, yeah, go. This is about scalar electromagnetics. Yep. Yep. The quantum mechanical effects and influences that can be accomplished by electrical and magnetic scalar potential. To that post that we were reading. It's, um... Which also, the the drawing, like the... I guess you could call it like a blueprint in a sense. Yeah. Of the Death Star laser kind of looks like the rebel base on Hoth. A little bit. A little bit a with the. Bit. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking that. I didn't yeah. say it, but. No, you're right. So like the Tesla coils, how they drew energy from all around. This is saying that if you have two strong enough. Pretty much magnets. Yeah. Either repelling each other or trying to be attracted to each other but just unable to get there yeah if you focus that and have a strong enough whatever you want to fucking call it magnetic would, field let's go with that i like well that. that's what it is if it's We're two magnets that okay if you because if they're trying to it. see let me be smart for a second because that's how earth's atmosphere works that's why we're not dead yet like the atmosphere we're we're protected by the earth's magnetic field because earth is a giant fucking magnet so like the reason fucking comets and shit exist is because they enter the magnetic field and then the magnetic field's like nah bitch get out and repels Ooh. it out so if you have two magnets fighting each other the friction of that could be used for like fucking hydron colliders which i think is a thing that i, I read uh, once yeah, those are the and if they're trying to get to each other i don't know how you would stop that if it's like some super magnet but yeah so Onward. If, if you can direct it at a singular point, you would be able to, no matter where you were, no matter what condition, you'd be able to silently pretty much destroy whatever you wanted. With like a Tesla coil laser beam of electricity, right? Sort of, but it'd be invisible to the human eye okay? because it, it'd just be waves. Just strong pulses of waves directed say if i had this tiny one and i directed it right at the jar we wouldn't be able to see it but if i turned it on the whatever's coming out of it breaks the jar okay so someone i was reading something someone tried to make the argument that remember that building in miami that went down yeah and how it says normal buildings don't collapse like that and yeah all that. yeah someone was trying to make the argument that they direct they were testing it and they had whatever they were using directed at that part of the building. And because they turned it on or whatever the hell they had to do, that's why it had that almost unnatural collapse. Yeah, let me just come out of the gates by saying that's fucking stupid. Um, that's a hot take. Because also, why would, they, take. why would they build this device in Miami? And also, why would the people building it be like, Hey, let's test it on residential condos in downtown Miami. Also, as I said, I don't know if I cut it out of last week, but we were talking about it on the McAfee episode. I might have cut it out because I think it was during the piss break. Got to lay it on me. But they, or maybe it was before we even recorded. Anyway, um, there's like documents from the Miami Board of Architecture, whatever, like the people, like the build, the city planners. Yes. Who for at least a decade have been telling the owners of that building and the residents like the foundation of this building is fucked up and it's going to collapse Get the fuck and out. then the people who own the building told the residents hey if you don't want to die you got to pay for it and all the residents were like well that's kind of your job and they were at this stalemate of who's gonna drop like multi-millions of dollars on repairing the building and then it collapsed so it killed 117 people they didn't i don't think they found that many of them then they demolish the rest of it on top of 117 unfound bodies how fucked up is that 
That's a current event right there. That's a fucking crazy current event. Yeah, it was all over the news. I didn't know there was that many people trapped in there. 117 so far missing people. And then a week after a week long search, I think they recovered maybe, maybe 30 bodies. And then they were like, yeah, that's uh, still missing 117, but they're probably dead. Let's demolish it. Roll and they, over it. They blew up the rest of the building on these people who potentially could have been alive under the rubble. Could Most have. likely not, but could have been. Like the Chilean miners survived. Yeah. Something crazy. Could have been a pocket. Yeah. And Olivia told me something that was wild. That like the families of the people who live there, multiple families came forward and were like, we got calls from their phones. And on the other side was like screaming and like, like fucking come help us type shit. And they just demolished the rest of the building on it. Like they definitely killed people. No doubt in my mind. So anyway, no doubt. In my no mind. fucking shot that they tested out a fucking space lays death star ray on this building. Why would anyone do that? Hey, well, hey if you're you the person who made this over. argument, you just said they mowed over possible people and demolished it. And you don't, don't even, even begin. I will fucking hit you on this <laughs> podcast. Whoever tried to make the argument that the reason that that building collapsed in the first place was because the people who are building this device aimed it at this building and demolished it. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> no. fuck and if you're even going to begin to make that argument because they demolished the rest of the building when they didn't find all the bodies, go fuck yourself. I fuck you. Oh, here it is. Back to what we were talking about, the ha- Aharnov bomb. How do you how do you think you pronounce that? Aharnov bomb, Aharnov bomb effect. What? The Aharnov oh. bomb effect. Bomb is definitely right. Yeah, uh, Ahar Aharnov. Yeah, Aharnov I, I guess. Let's go Aharnov bomb. What's what? What's that say under there? That's the part I was gonna read. Uh, the Aharnov bomb effect shows that even in the absence of electrical and magnetic fields, the potentials can cause real effects to occur in the field-free regions. So I think that's what it's oh, trying. Oh, caption to... continued in comments. Oh yeah, they keep going. I think that brings us back to the one point you were talking about the Earth's electromagnetic field and how it can pull off of that uh, itself. We're so just this, this is saying, look it up. You know, we're not bullshitting you. Using this principle, beams of pure potential energy without vector force uh, may be deliberately produced and intersected at a distance to cause effects in an interference zone. In contradiction to classical mechanics, these effects are in fact required by theories and laws based on beliefs of quantum mechanics. See what? So what's that, that what that's saying is without like you were saying, they're using magnets to do this. What that's saying is they're working on a way to do it. Like in like without having this huge, like a hydron collider is like four miles long. Yeah. They're trying to do it without needing all that shit. And they believe it's possible to, obtain stored energy around us like molecules are bouncing off each other all the time there's very possible radio waves x-rays gamma ray all that shit bouncing around us right now going through us harness that. so they're trying to harness that and then the rest of it is saying uh yeah beams of pure potential force so potential force is like the resting force mm-hmm. So, like, if I took this and held it, now it's at its potential. Then I guess the vector force, which in my head just means, like, kinetic, is if I drop it, and by the time it hits the floor, that force is released. The potential, the stored-up force is converted into a vector force, or what I was taught, kinetic. I could be totally wrong. I'm making this all I up. Like how, I like how you're talking. Keep going. So, what they're saying is you can harness, essentially, the the energy that is constantly circulating on a molecular level. Put it in a bag. Um, bag it into a weapon. And then aim it at something and release that energy at... 
Uh, whatever they said, the word they used, I where'd it go? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Holy shit! It'd be it'd be like the stormtroopers at one time when they released that that stun circle at Princess Leia. Yeah, it'd be like that. Pretty much, you wouldn't be able to see it, and it'd be able to do whatever you wanted it to do. Science. I mean, it's oh, wow, it's far out there, and it definitely like you got to be real smart to understand half the fucking words we on can't that even screen. The surface. I'm really tr- doing my best to dumb it down in a way that I can understand it, but like. From what I gather from all the shit we read before we hit record, there is some way to take the potential energy around you at all times, like I said, on a molecular level, turn it into kinetic energy, and then fire that at something. And I don't know. No, you ready for the you ready? Fuck it up. (laughs) Fuck it up. In layman's terms, fuck it up. You ready for the good side of this? Yeah. And hey. I'm going to say this now for you, YouTube. This is all hypothetical. Don't know if it can really hey, happen. So don't get mad and, at us. And Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Please. Yeah, but they don't get mad at us. Well, because there's no comments. That is true. <laughs> you, don't get mad at us, YouTube. This is hy- hypothetical time. There's a theory that says... Well, wait. YouTube got mad at us because we misspread medical information. So if this has to do with the medical field, let's skip over it because if we get another strike, we're fucked. Well, it's about how some people believe that the scalar energy, if used in the correct way, is pretty much... You, have you ever heard about how people sometimes use frequencies or sound to help heal their inner body? Like if you meditate, listen yeah, to yeah, certain yeah. hertz, the, yeah. pineal gland and all that. There's stuff. like the those bowls. Yeah, like the bowls. The I forget what they're meditation. called. We used to have them at the company, the fashion company I worked at. We do like a meditative thing. Yeah. Yeah. They're saying if you if you do it in the right way, it will literally be able to heal someone like you see. Who did it with the force where they were able to just wave their hand over? I think it was Ray. It might have been Ray, how she just waved her hand over a wound and she was able to heal it. Another very Star Wars heavy episode. I like it. That's what yeah. I'm saying. If you were able to direct it and concentrate it that much, you'd be able to heal living tissue. How, though? Where is it? Because if it's taking energy, focusing it, how could that possibly be regen- Like that, I feel like that would just like blow your fucking arm off. It says at certain repetition, it can destroy viruses and bacteria. And two, it's what well, it speeds it up. It speeds up tissue regeneration, reduces okay, inflammation rapidly, and strengthens your immune system. All right. It says it's a seven point eight three hertz. That's that's kind of the frequency it gives off. Okay. It's very low. Yeah. I, I was going to say lot. that's not. Yeah, a lot of. Yeah, it's awesome. It's literally just a dumb, a, a dull. Yeah. It's so oh, it feels so good. Okay. I mean. Who knows? I don't know. So, blah, 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 blah. that's considered a strong emitter of uh, where scalar scalar waves. It's saying that hurts itself when played as a strong emitter. So if you have your headphones on and you're just sitting there with your eyes closed and you're yeah vegging out, it says it's healing. So then, it's why is body. it labeled as a real life Death Star? Because they're saying the potential for because I don't know if, I don't know if you've seen Star Wars, but Death Star ain't healing. Death Star ain't healing. They blew no up body. Alderaan with that bitch. Poor Leia. Then they blew up fucking that other place. We will test our Death Star near Endor. Well, if it's used in the wrong way, obviously it's gonna be destructive. Because there's no there's no limit to the potential of energy that can be used. Oh, so you're saying if you stop it. At a low yeah, if you're able to control frequency, it at a low frequency that it could help. Yeah. But if you make that shit store up and mm-hmm. store up, it's like a fucking potato gun. Yes, yeah, the compression. If you build up yeah. enough of it, it'll destroy. But okay, if you have a yeah, I guess that makes a sense. Nice flow of it, it'll heal. Nice little waterfall. Yeah, look, <laughs> feel it rain. Feel the rain. There's a knife in your back, and the blood is gushing. Office reference. You know what? I I can't get this out of my head. I've been thinking about this the whole entire episode. 
the uh what was that ship called in Rick and Morty? The NX5 brought to you by Wrangler. Earth, you've been chosen to be destroyed. Yeah, by I don't the know NX5. the name. Oh, yeah. Brought to brought you by to Wrangler, Wrangler Jeans. Jeans. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about that. Well, this is sort of a similar thing as well. Just concentrated energy. Built but too like tough. Okay, so here comes fucking nasty old J Mac coming in. Like I don't like what you're talking about. I I'd like to think this is real, right? But like let's think about the Death Star, bro. It's a fucking like outpost floating through space that they thought was a moon. Classic Han Solo. That's not a moon. <laughs> and then Chewie's like, <laughs> um, with this fucking laser that can blow up planets. And they're saying, oh, real life Death Star. But then the article goes, or not even the article, the fucking Instagram post goes on to say, yeah, they're trying to scale it down so they can, like, I think it said, like, disarm military vehicles. Yeah. So it's like the whole thing in itself is misleading, right? But also, we have ballistic missiles. We don't need fucking invisible laser beams to disarm a tank. We got that. And you also can't see a ballistic missile coming at you, especially from a tank. So, like, once We're again, set. why the fuck are we putting money into this? We got it that seems dope. way too complicated. We got that. We, got we already that figured it out. We got unmanned drones. Drop a fucking bomb on shit if you want to blow it up. I understand possibly investigating it for healing properties, but the way this shit made it seem is like, we got a super weapon. Prepare to get fucked. And it's like, no, dude. Get fucked. And even if you could store up enough energy to blow up an armored vehicle or a planet, which are two very different things if you weren't aware, why do we need I didn't that? Know the size difference. Why do we need that? No one needs that. You ever seen Fury starring Brad Pitt? He fucking blows up a tank with a hand grenade. Shia LaBeouf's in that movie too. You don't need yeah. that much. And Michael fucking Pena, who's one of the goats, and the other guy. We're going extra. Okay. We're going extra. Nothing. All I'm is saying out of is, bounds. all I'm saying is like, you want a giant is, supercomputer that can kill people from a thousand miles away and shit out of pepperoni pizza at the same time? We're gonna do it. See, that's more believable than this. We're gonna do it. You want a. a wave shot at you that you can't even see or hear coming that's going to rip your body in half while we're spending trillions of dollars and we're still in debt to god knows who who america who we're doing it yeah it's so american dude so over the top and unnecessary on so many levels like bigger and better like look i think at this point we all know we have warfare figured out like we're good, dude. We're good. We're good. We got it. We, we're and we've good. talked about it here. They already use sound waves and other invisible things to disarm fucking EMPs, dude. EMPs, yep, crazy. Yeah. Like that's wild that that exists. So that's why a piece of me is like, yeah, maybe you could eventually do this one day. But you're talking about absorbing energy from already invisible molecules around you, yep, and then launching it out of a firearm at something to blow it up. Well, have you ever seen that one video of the dude who builds pretty much a Tesla coil? Tesla. Coil yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen a bunch of those. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what I think. But also, dude is shooting it at like this and knocking the cans over. Yeah. And that's like a whole fucking process. I think the fact that they want to and the fact they know they can is the reason they're yeah. not going to stop. And I don't know if we were recording or not, but like when I was saying earlier, like, oh, so it's just like an oversized Tesla coil that shoots basically like a fucking Zeus lightning bolt at something that would be fucking sick. That'd be insane. And then we were also talking about the satellite that like shoots missiles out of the air that is basically outlawed globally. Like if there's some satellite floating around that could just launch like a fucking Thor's hammer, just massive lightning oh. bolt down on like some crazy like that would be fucking cool. This is dumb. This, wait, 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 wait. So you're, you're telling me that sa that satellite exists? There is a satellite. I forget what it's called. That shoots like it's not a legitimate laser, but it like if it's 
for like nukes and shit. Oh, okay. So like if someone launched a nuke at the US, there's some satellite somewhere that can mm. like disable it over mm. the Atlantic Ocean so no one gets hurt. Mm. Or the Pacific or whichever way it's coming from. That exists. That's like old news. But also all these other countries were like, that's unfair. But also no one's really launching nukes. So. Hey. What I'm saying is if they had like the Thor's hammer satellite that could just take out like a fucking city with a beam of electricity, that'd be kind of cool. There's your new pick. But hey, whoa, let's bring it back around. There's no atmosphere to collect the energy oh, to do that shit. up in space. What whoa. About, what about the um, solar flares from the sun? Take that energy. I don't know. I that Those are like some other shit. I don't even know how solar flares work. Because apparently there's like scientists or NASA scientists are like concerned that there's going to be a solar flare that like wipes out Earth. And we are so goddamn far away from the sun. So I really I, I don't know. I genuinely don't even know how solar flares work or why they're so scary. I thought they were just little like sun farts. Just tiny little sun farts. Yeah, coming like, off. And then it like the, I've seen pictures of like. Like it'll jet out and then the sun's gravity like pulls it back in. There's a little like thing going on there. So I, d I don't know about solar flares, but also there are like invisible solar flares that hit earth all the time. So I guess you're right. I have no Dude. idea, dude. That's another thing that magnetic field does is like protect us from the sun. Well, and the atmosphere and things like that, but like from the sun's like fucking gamma rays that would kill us instantly. There's like so many layers that, you know what's going to happen? We're going to talk about this. I could be 100% wrong. We I'm could like, be, I could feel like I'm right. Off. I feel like I'm right because in my head, I'm sitting in fucking astronomy class, learning all of this and reciting it. But like, Write down notes. I'm also scared Write someone's going to Google it and be like, these guys are so fucking stupid. But I feel like should, I'm right. I feel like you are right. As far as solar flares that I know nothing about go. I can't wait. We're going to talk about it. About a week, two weeks from now, someone way smarter than us is going to talk about this exact topic with someone who's smarter than them. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to have all the puzzles. Joe pieces. Rogan's probably recording this exact episode right now. Jamie, look that up. Yeah. Oh, we my need God. a Jamie, dude. Can you imagine? Hey, anchor. Well, because I try and do it. And Help then I'm us like out here. I know. Then you got to split the microphone. You got to reach through. Maybe Come I'll just start on. sitting off camera. No, I'm kidding. Just this is couple pints five. I would never do that. All you'd hear is J Mac off from the side of the camera. Don't say that. What are this you doing? It's couple pints pie. Howdy, call. Oh, Haven Babies. Oh, Jesus. Wow. That's aggressive. So, yeah, that dude, I don't, I don't know about this one, bro. You got me the last couple of weeks. You have this. This one's way out there. But this one just is. It's stupid. I can't even. I can't mentally grasp. It's cool, but it's stupid. Cool because it's plausible, but stupid, but stupid. because why do we need to do it? Let's take necessity out of it. Again, this is like my go to argument when we talk about like these just ridiculous scientific experiments. There are so many other things we should be focused on. Like, hey, let's fucking, you know, fix global warming so that there is a use for this weird invisible laser backpack that you're trying to build. You know what I mean? I really think like there's a lot of other different things we could be way more focused on than a fucking atmosphere absorbing fucking cannon or whatever the fuck it's called. Imagine it's one day they come out and they go, hey. We built a device that can build a whole new atmosphere around Earth. Get ready. We're going to turn it on. Yeah, like, that'd be sick. Be like, whoa. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be living in the future. Or, hey, let's just, like, not do as much pollution. It's not that hard. <laughs> hey, lower it down a little bit. Yeah, just make it ace. You know, maybe turn your car off when you go into 7-Eleven. Ain't that hard. I leave that shit running on diesel, even though I drive a Honda Civic. Fun fact, that's actually illegal in New York State to leave your car idling if you're not in it. No one enforces that law, but it's a law. Really? Yeah. 
I didn't know that. Yeah. A cop told me that. And I was like, do you take it people for that? He's like, no. And I was like, okay, then what? Hey, then why are you saying it? I don't know. Oh, I got a beef that I got to get off my chest. All right, let's do a beef. No current events. Let's do a beef of the week. Fucking truck drivers. <laughs> now, I'm talking the one, not, not the pickup truck drivers. The U-Haul-esque loading trucks. Box trucks? Box trucks. What do you mean? Like, if you're... Like the trucks that do like restaurant deliveries, like the smaller. Yes. Okay. Yes. I didn't know if you meant like literal U-Hauls. No, no, no. The box trucks. Okay. If you're driving a box truck. Yeah. Like a fucking Porsche sedan. Dude. Holy shit. I am going to pull up next to you. Roll my window down. And I don't even care if you hear it. Bro, you're not fucking Jeff Gordon. Okay. This is Dobbs Ferry. Chill. Dude. This guy is driving this truck like he's in the Indy 500. I've been in Brooklyn. You can't imagine the shit I see on a daily basis. It's- I almost died today by box truck, but I was on a uh, an interstate. So, dude, I don't get. But yeah, no. Some so of these much balls. Some of these motherfuckers are just weaving in box trucks. It's like Jesus. I'm watching the back of the truck go. Woo, 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 woo. And this guy's taking off. Yeah. No, that's scary, especially around here. That's my beef. You're not driving a Porsche. Yeah, so if you drive a box truck, uh, we're going to fucking shoot you with a particle laser, whatever the fuck we're going to call it. Particle backpack beam. <laughs> Can All you right. say backpack? Can you say fucking this has been? Has it? Are we done? I got nothing else. Yeah, neither do I. This has been a couple, a couple pines, pines pod. pod. Can you say goodbye? Can you say fucking... I'm still stuck on the fact that this is even <laughs> a thing, dude. Oh! My, my beef of the week is whoever the fuck is researching this. Stop. Do something else. You're obviously smart. Use it better. Then I use my English. Be better. Hey. The better. <laughs> You're here. You can be here. Raise the bar. A bit. Be better. All right. This has been a couple of pine spots. We love you all. Safe to say. We're out. Yes. Later, losers.